Those are the facts, gentlemen. Ready or not, like it or not, we've been given no choice. Our job now is to supply the Far Eastern Command with every unit that can possibly be spared for employment in Korea. How many troops can the Marine Corps furnish? By calling up our reserves, drawing on all posts and stations, training cadres, shipboard detachments, embassy personnel, and so forth, we could furnish a division. It's urgent. It'll have to be done in a hurry. It will be. I leave in 10 days. Five years is a long time. I feel old. No, look at them. A bunch of kids, boys. I've forgotten an awful lot about war. I've even forgotten what I have to try to remember. Number 11. It's a lucky number. First down 11 ever looked like boxcars. Okay, kids. Chop, chop. Let mommy get out first. Eh? Get out of boy. Hiya, Captain. Welcome to Millionaire's Row. Oh, hi. If there's anything we can do to help you get settled, just to wrap out an SOS on the partition. We live on the other side of it. Thanks.
Captain Hanson reporting for duty, sir. Hello, Hanson. I'm Knox, battalion exec. Glad to have you aboard. Thank you, sir. Captain Hanson, Colonel. Glad to have you aboard, Captain. Thank you, sir. Sit down. Cigarette? No, sir. You're getting Baker Company. Considerably under strength at present, but don't worry, you'll be beefed up in due course. Baker Company? But all my experience in the last five years has been in electronics. My reserve status is in communications. I, I haven't been around a rifle company since the war. Well, according to your records, you were a pretty good platoon leader then. You shouldn't have any trouble running a company. But I don't understand why it... Captain, this is the end of the line. You were sent to me as a company commander. You qualified as such during the last war. That's what you're going to do now. Sergeant Novak. At ease, Sergeant. Captain Hanson, this is Sergeant Novak. Sergeant. Captain Hanson. Novak served with me in Iceland. I've known him a long time, and I have a lot of confidence in him. He'll be your company gunnery sergeant, and he'll be invaluable in training your new men. I've scheduled a meeting of my battalion officers and NCOs at the amphitheater at 1700. Please be there. Yes, sir. Well, Captain, you better change into your dungarees. You've got work to do. I'm Think O'Grady. Paul Hanson. Uh, I'd like you to meet one of my officers, Lieutenant Ortiz. Lieutenant Captain Hanson? This is Captain Charlie Kaiser. He's well named. Captain. He's got Charlie Company. Yeah. Say, here you've got Baker Company. Yeah. And I've got Abel. That makes us neighbors in the line and neighbors in the Quonset. Good deal. Stand by. Attention. That is. What a break getting Colonel Corbett. He's a great officer. I served with him at Tarawa. Training order number 1-50 to all commanding officers subject training and combat readiness. Due to the urgency of the situation and the limited time available for training, the following will be strictly adhered to. One, all personnel will be available for training on 24-hour basis. Two, priority for training will be A, physical fitness. B, coordination of individual weapons and supporting arms, artillery, air, and tanks. C, scouting and patrolling. D, small unit offensive and defensive tactics, inclusive of night problems. Signed, D.R. Smith, S3, by direction of the commanding officer. I intend to follow these orders to the letter. I intend that this battalion will be in top efficiency on embarkation date. All of you men have brought families with you. Say goodbye to them tonight because this battalion is moving 20 miles into the hills and it's going to stay there. We will depart for the training area at 0500 tomorrow. That's all. Shit. Carry on. Oh, Colonel. Colonel Corbett, did I understand you to say that the Italian would be in the boondocks the whole time we're here? That's correct, Captain. Well, I brought my wife and two children along with me. Since I'm driving my own car and wouldn't be tying up a battalion vehicle, may I have permission to drive back to my own quarters at night? Permission to night. But, sir, I, I brought them all the way from Denver, just... Captain Hanson, I can understand you wanting to be with your family evenings. But I also know that in a short time we're going to be engaged in a shooting war where only combat readiness counts. By training this battalion to the maximum and the time left, I hope to ensure to get you back home safe to spend the rest of your life with your family. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. I guess I got a little confused. I'm just a family man. You're a Marine, Captain Hanson. And don't you forget it.
That's government property. Don't tear it apart. Just jab it. Stay loose, kid. Take it easy. Go! How many times do I have to tell you to get down after you throw? But how am I going to see if I hit it or not, Sergeant? Down where I come from, you said. You may to... never get to go home where you come from if you don't learn to keep your head down when you throw. Half the fun seeing whether you hit what you're throwing at. Thanks, man. Now, just relax. When I give you the order, try to get it right into the middle of that ring. Okay, stand by. Open. Prepare to throw and throw! Don't be afraid to throw it. Put your tail behind it. Be a Marine. Okay. Next man. Look alive. Hold the order. Get it right into the they middle. They don't weigh hardly anything at all. The idea is to draw back like you're throwing a shot put. Then you cast in a high arc so it lands flush on the target. Right, Sergeant? Yeah, let's see you do it. That's a nice throw, McDermott. <laughs> Only you forgot to pull the pin. Go on, get out there and pick it up. Get the let out, go! Go, 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 go! There may come times in hand-to-hand -hand combat when you'll have nothing left to fight with but your hands. That's why you're gonna learn jujitsu. Jujitsu is a science of leverage and balance. A man off balance is a man defeated. Now, if I can have a volunteer, I'll demonstrate what I mean. All right, McDermott. Brace for attack. Now, this is normal. He's braced. This is jujitsu. Notice how with one finger, you can knock a man off balance by pushing against the direction in which he's braced. All right, McDermott, try it on me. Let me give you a hand, Sergeant. Thanks, kid. One thing his daddy forgot to tell him. Never volunteer. Now, as I was saying, there may come a time in hand-to-hand -hand combat when you'll have nothing to fight with but your hands. Now, if I can have a volunteer, I'll demonstrate the... I'm ready. Come on. Tell me, Hot Rock, just what are you trying to prove? That I'm as good a Marine as anybody else in my family. Come on. Race for attack. Stay loose, kid. Like I was saying, balance is the most important thing. Plane throwers, take off. Second foot down, move up. I can't sleep either. Day and night. How much longer can it take it? How much longer can we? Take over. 
March the men to their area and dismiss them. Aye, aye, sir. Hey, hey, Paul. The Colonel just given permission for all men with families to go home tonight. How about that? It's wonderful. Thank you, sir. Hey, you've earned it. Besides, we're loading up the ship out tomorrow. Hey, hey, what are we standing here for? We haven't very much time, mister. Oh. I wonder. So I tell my mother now we're going to Korea or wait until I get there? Wait, then you can tell her how seasick you got. P.S. I'm going to Korea. Now comes the hard part. Bolt, firing pin, slide and hammer, operating handle, guide. The recoil spring guide comes next. Where's the... Maybe you already put it back in the piece. Well, how can I do that? The recoil spring guide goes on the recoil spring. It... Well, there it is. Why couldn't I find it? You just ain't a Marine yet, boy. Like the man said. A Marine is a gas-operated, rain-cooled, spam-fed, semi-automatic weapon who's never been known to have a stoppage. And that ain't you, little man. The chickens are poor and the crop is lean. There isn't any gravy. The gravy's in the Navy. They're either too old or too young. company here to finish its firing practice so I can put my outfit to work. Who's that firing now? I don't know, sir. I'll find out. Just a moment, Captain. How long have you had your company? Ever since I joined the battalion, sir. Seems to me by now, if you don't know every one of your people by name, you shouldn't be in command. I expect my company officers to know every man's name, service record, and capabilities. You should know each man by the back of his head. Carry on. Aye, aye, sir. Henson's a good officer, sir. He just hasn't found himself yet. There are a lot like him in the battalion, Tink. Retreads from the last war, kids without combat experience, untried men. Hanson's got a wife and two children. 
He's gonna play it safe. Too safe. All right, McDermott, inside. What's up, Sergeant? Inside, inside. That is. You're McDermott. Yes, sir. James W. I hope I haven't done anything wrong, sir. I can't afford to make a mistake. Really? Why not? Because I've got to be as good as my brother. Who's he? First Lieutenant Frederick P. McDermott, United States Marine Corps. Oh, I see. And I've got to be as good a Marine as all the rest of my family. The rest of your family? All us McDermott's are Marines. My father was a Marine in the First World War. Maybe you knew him, sir. I'm not that old. My first acquaintance with the Marine Corps came in the Second World War. Well, maybe you knew my brother Bobby, Robert S. He got killed in Ewell. I was there, but I don't believe I knew him. Is this your correct age, 17? Oh, no, not now, sir. I've been 18 for quite a few weeks now. Well, coming out of a family like yours, I don't suppose you have much trouble getting your folks' permission to join up. Well, my dad was all for it, but we had an awful time swinging Mom. With Bobby gone and Freddie already in Korea, she didn't like it much. My being the last son, so to speak. What outfit's the lieutenant serving with in Korea? He's a reconnaissance officer. I guess he's one of the first Marines to land there. Well, maybe you'll be seeing him before long. I hope so, Captain. Gee, the last time I saw him, I was just a kid. Thank you, McDermott. That's all. Oh, stand where you are. No, no, with your back to me. Put your cap on. All right, look damn it, you can go now. Thanks, man. Hey, McDermott. How'd you make out with the captain? Fine, fine. Nice fellow. Kind of strange, though. This is Colonel Corbett speaking. At 0630 tomorrow, with this battalion in assault, we will make an amphibious landing at Incheon. Our operation is part of a larger plan to retake the South Korean capital of Seoul. We can expect a tough fight on our hands, but I have the utmost confidence in this battalion. Our strength will lie in teamwork and cooperation. You've had excellent training. Just remember what you've learned, and you'll come out of this alive. Good luck, and Godspeed to each of you. Well spoken, Colonel. If naval gunfire and air soften up that beach for us, those words will come true.
Boy, there won't even be a fleet left alive when we get there. They ain't careful, they're liable to sink that island. My stomach just went down for the last time. Wow, here come our bird boys. See you soon enough. Ready with that scaling ladder when we hit the wall. Keep your heads down. from the company's on their progress. I mean the regimental commander aboard ship. Colonel, landing successful. Over. What kind of resistance are you meeting? Over. Oh, we just landed. I'm getting a report from the companies now. So far, resistance appears to be moderate, casualties light. Over. Good work, Steve. Keep moving, though. That hill must be secured by 1800. Over. It will be. Out. Able and Charlie companies reach phase line one in good shape. What about Baker Company? Baker Company's been held up. Hanson just called for naval gunfire on that hill ahead. Is Hanson crazy? Hold up that fire request. I'm going down to one. Here. What's holding you up? Why don't you move out? I'm waiting for naval gunfire to soften up that hill. It's too late for that. O'Grady's company's already on the left side of that hill. Naval gunfire will murder them. Now get moving. But you can't play it safe here, Captain. Move out! Move out! All right, you big freight marines, let's find the war! Come on, McDermott, get your feet wet.
for booby traps. Hold up here, Captain. You can occupy these positions tonight. Aye, aye, sir. How'd it go? Fine, sir. What's the word, Skipper? We're here for tonight, Sergeant. Aye, aye, sir. All right, boys, start cleaning up the real estate. This is over tonight. 50% alert. Gentlemen, Major Knox will give you the general plan of operation. At 0700, we'll move out to take the terrain between here and Sewell, inclusive of Kimpo Airfield. Then we'll cross the Han River. When we've done that, we'll approach the city from the high ground here, and our final objective will be this area near the Capitol building. Any change in our air support, sir? No, you'll have all you need. Have your men get as much rest as possible. Big job ahead. Any questions? No, sir. That's all. Major Knox, any idea when we'll get the first mail? No, Hanson, I haven't heard. Thank you. Major Knox. Yes, sir? I'd better be with Baker Company tomorrow. Aye, aye, sir. Colonel Corbett, sir. Baker Company did pretty well today. The whole battalion did. We haven't come up against anything tough yet. Evening, Captain. What? Oh, hi. Hi, Novak. Overall quiet up here, sir. Yeah. Now you better get some rest. You probably need it. called a while back requesting clarification on a prisoner we took. You know the name of the officer making the request? Lieutenant McDermott. Freddy? Yeah. Did you tell him I'm here? Thought I'd leave that for you to do. If you want to go down and see him, it's okay with me. No, I, ca I can't see Freddy. Not now. Not yet. Okay, son. Anytime you change your mind.
All secure here, sir. Take a good look through those buildings. Take a detail with you. All right, sir. Let's go. Hanson! Get yes. the Able Company, O'Grady. Good job. You can hold up here. You men deserve a rest. Aye, aye, sir. Back streets are all clean, Captain. We'll hold up here, Sergeant. Aye, aye, sir. You're home! Check your ammo supply and chow down! Captain, sir, do I still have your permission to see my brother? I'd like to now. You sure do, McDermott. Thank you, sir. McDermott, come here. What are you trying to do? Get yourself killed. Not now, Sergeant, not now. I got a date with an officer. your kids? My kids are fine, sir. Just fine. It must be wonderful to have a family. I wish I had one. You have. They're all around you. I'm going down to headquarters and ask the regimental commander what happens to this family next. Come along with me. Dermot! Colin. One of your men? Yes, sir. He did a mighty fine job today, too. Where are you going? Headquarters, sir. Hop in. You can ride shotgun for us. I gave McDermott here permission to go find his brother, Lieutenant McDermott. He's with Recon Company. McDermott? I had a Sergeant McDermott with me once who was in Panama, I think. That's him, sir. He was here on 40. <laughs> when you see him, give him my best regards. I certainly will, sir. Excuse me, sir. Would the Colonel tell me, sir, how does a PFC greet an officer if the officer happens to be his brother? Well, uh... I wouldn't exactly throw my arms around him.
Thanks for the ride, Colonel. Not at all, McDermott. All right, get that Jeep out of here. Pull it around the corner. Uh, Semper Fi, Mac. Hey, Sergeant, do you know where I can find Lieutenant McDermott? No. All right, let's keep it moving here. Let's keep it moving. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for Lieutenant McDermott. Would you know where I can find him? Any particular reason for seeing him? Well, kind. He's my brother. Find him around the corner. Thank you, sir. Just how far is it to the Manchurian border, Colonel? From our jumping off place on the East Coast? Just through all of North Korea, that's all. Sergeant. Where's my Jeep? Right around the corner, sir. Anything I can do, son? I guess it's all right if I put my arms around him now. Where'd those Koreans come from? South Koreans, little man, South Koreans. Does my heart good to see those folks. Yes, sir, this is one war that makes sense, the North against the South. This time we're fighting on the right side. Ah, <laughs> Come up, Sinida. Katsuda. What was all that about? Those rocks have some wonderful scuttlebutt. They claim General MacArthur says we'll be home by Christmas. Home by Christmas? Well, don't get too excited. They're a little confused. They thought we were the army. Did you hear that? I sure did. Christmas. <laughs> hey, did you all hear the news? The war's almost over. We're going to be home for Christmas. Yeah, we just heard. The Colonel said so. Ain't that wonderful? Excuse me, Sergeant. Mm -hmm. When we move out, I'd like to be on the point. You're 
on a point yesterday. I want to be there today, too. Look, kid, I don't know what you got in your head, but if you're trying to get even for your brother... I want to just... be on the point. I like it there. Okay. McDermott. Stay loose, kid. How's it going? Be quiet so far, Colonel. We don't want to have a look when we get to the top of that hill. This is all too easy. Where do we stop? The Oriental shanty town called You Damn Me. We ought to be there soon. But it'll be cold up there. Take a look at that hut. Don't stare. There's a tank in it. Keep walking. He's not after us. He wants the trucks. Smith, do not come forward. Call Major Knox quick. Tell him to have the column take cover immediately. There's an enemy tank off to the right of the road. Hold your fire! Get that bazooka set up. Come in. Knox. Colonel, that tank zeroed in on the trucks and has the whole road covered. Able Company's moving up behind the hill to flank it. All right, we'll try to get it with a bazooka from up here. Out. It's too far to get a good shot at it from here. Move out into the field and get close enough to hit it. You smoke for cover!
Fight's over, son. McDermott. McDermott. You drive a Jeep? Huh? I said, can you drive a Jeep? Yes, sir. Hanson? Yes, sir. You've just lost a man. I'm making you my driver and runner. Set of corporal stripes goes with the job. Soldiers are Chinese. Chinese? What are they doing here? I don't know. I don't know. Excuse me, sir. Well, how are you, son? Fine, Captain. Sir, the Colonel requests your presence at a battalion meeting. And would the Captain come with me, sir? Uh, be right with you, Corporal. Jimmy! Hey, Jimmy! Shorty! <laughs> what are you saying, Andy? Andy? How are you guys? Oh, just fine, Corporal, sir. Hey, how's it feel to be riding instead of walking, boy? Oh, just getting cars in a different place. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jimmy, I'm running awful short on pogey bait. Yes, uh, that's my boy. Oh, I sure wish you could bring up some heat. My feet are froze clear up to my ears. Stop beating your gums. You want to see the world, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, but this ain't the season <laughs> for it. Yes, sir. All right, let's go, Corporal. Sergeant, what do you have, Skipper? Keep him on the toes, huh? Yes, sir. Want every man dug in by dark, but good. All right, sir. Take off, Corporal. All right, you platoon sergeants, move into your areas. Dig them deep. We're here at Udamni on the west side of the Chosun Reservoir. We're 60 miles to the Yalu River on the Manchurian border. We're 65 miles from the sea. And our only inland supply route is over this one lousy mountain road. Your patrols contact the enemy today? No, sir. I just can't find them. What about you? Nothing but a lot of rumors from a lot of Koreans, sir. How about you, Paul? Well, if you can call it contact, sir, we did glimpse an enemy patrol in this area here, but they withdrew. There was no exchange of fire. Chinese or North Korean? No way of telling, sir. We tried to catch up with them, but whoever they were, they just disappeared. That's happened a couple of times in the last few days, and I don't like it. We're out here on the end of a limb all by ourselves. The enemy comes in here, they'll saw it off. Now, remember that and don't relax. Any questions? Now, one final thing. I want all units tied in and their communications thoroughly checked so everybody will know at all times what's going on. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's all. Send McDermott in here. Oh, Paul, just a minute. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is, Corporal. I'm sending you to Ham Hung by courier helicopter tomorrow morning. You're going home. Going home? Why, sir? Your mother's requested the president that you be withdrawn from combat, and the request has been granted. My mother? The president? I don't understand, sir. 
I know that you had a brother killed in Korea, but I didn't know that a second son had been killed on Iwo Jima. You're a sole surviving son now, McDermott. Our laws make provisions for that. As the only one left to carry on the family name, your parents have the right to ask that you be spared. That's why the president intervened at your mother's request. You go on home, son. But I don't want to go home, Colonel. This is where I belong. This is my outfit. I'm sorry, Corporal. You'll leave tomorrow morning. Can't you do something, Captain? Afraid not, son. Order's in order. May I have the Colonel's permission to go up to Baker Company and spend this last night with my friends? Certainly. We were quite a team against that tank. I'll always remember you for it. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna miss that kid. You see anything out there? Tell for sure, Skipper. Seems like I can, and then again, seems like I can't. Gee, I'm sure gonna miss you guys. Are oh, you not getting out of the Marine Corps? We'll be together again. Sure. Anyway, we'll all be back home by Christmas. Hanson? Anything new in your area? Can't see a thing, Colonel, but I sure got the feeling there's something out there in front of me. Keep your eyes open. I've had nothing but Chinese on my radio net all night. We will, Colonel. That's the word. 100% alert. Yes. 100% alert! Pass it on! 100% alert. Pass it on. 100% alert. Pass it on. 100% alert, pass it on. 100% alert, pass it on! down by Able Company. We're trying to close it, but we're going to need some help. Okay, Paul. Get me Able Company. Yes, sir. Charlie Company's buying your FDL. Are they holding? 
Give me Charlie, Captain. Where's O'Grady? The captain's been badly wounded, sir. They've broken through and opened a gap in our lines. Take over, Archers, and plug up the hole. Charlie, can't be still holding, sir. Good. Regiment for you, sir. Corbett. How are you making out down there? We'll hold them, sir. We could use some more artillery support, though. Every piece is firing to maximum now. We're ringed with Chinese. They're all around us. You're going to have to get by on what support you're getting. Aye, aye, sir. What about some small arms ammo? We're running low. Answer me. Corbett! Come in, Corbett. Colonel, sir, we had a little trouble. What about the small arms ammo? Everybody's running short. You're going to have to hold out till we can get an airdrop. Where will that be? As soon as they can see to make an accurate one. Hang on and good hunting. How soon will your planes get here? They're on station now, Colonel. We're keeping the heads down. Get me another clip. Like the man said, we'll be back home by Christmas. And we better get started right now.
change of orders. Anybody hurt here? Only out there, sir. And, Captain, it doesn't look like I'll be able to take off for home this morning, does it? Afraid not, McDermott. I don't see how a plane can get in here now. That's a shame. Morning, lads. Good morning, sir. Morning, Colonel. Come on, Colonel. Come on, Colonel. We sure racked them up last night, didn't we, Colonel? We sure did. Got the coffee, Colonel? No, thanks. Morning, lads. Morning, Morning Colonel. Colonel. Corman, I want to see the doctor. Yes, sir. Captain O'Grady. He shot up pretty bad, sir. Yes, Colonel? Doc, how soon can you load these people on trucks and move them out of here? Move them? Where are we going, sir? We're pulling out. We've been ordered to withdraw. Withdraw? You, you mean retreat? Retreat? Hell, we're just attacking in another direction. That's what the general said, and that's what I say. We've got a 65-mile march through hills swarming with 100,000 Chinese soldiers. But we're coming out of here as Marines, not as stragglers. And we're coming out bringing our wounded and our equipment. And I promise you this. As long as there's one Marine alive who can fire a rifle, no other Marine is going to be left behind.
How's Captain O'Grady? As long as I keep this plasma from freezing, sir, he'll be all right. Turn yourself in, or do I have to tell the sergeant? You shut up. Look, Andy, your feet are frostbitten. You can't feel anything except when they hurt you. You want to get your legs chopped off? Don't be a sucker. Turn in. Ride! Pipe down, short boy. I've told you before, and I'll tell you again. You say one word about this, and I'll put a slug through your head. Okay. Do you want to see me, sir? How do you stand? I've only got two platoons able to fight. They're whittling us down. But the Chinese don't get the weather does. 20% frostbite, 10% wounded. And then they're dead. You better get back and look after your people. Yes, sir. Now, Paul. Yes, sir. Look after yourself, too. How are you making out, McDermott? Fine, Captain. Just working my way home. You make it. Where are you going with that ammo? There's a machine gun waiting for it up in those hills. Excuse me, sir. How are you fellows making out? Fine, sir. Sit down, sit down. How about you, Divine? Well, I've had it, Captain. Yeah, things are tough all over. Keep Captain up feet, boys. Keep that circulation going. We'll be moving out of here, sir. Keep stamping him out. Keep stamping him. Corman. Yes. How's Captain O'Grady? Still hanging
All right, we can move on. British Marines broke through and cleaned them up ahead. Corman! Corman! Concussion grenade, sir. He's all right, just done. Thank you. These Chinese would rather give us an injured man than a dead one. They know we take care of our wounded and it swells us up. They're limping, Colonel. Frostbite? I got nicked a little. I'm all right. Sir, she won't kick over. What are you carrying? 10-inch miscellaneous gear. Get it off the road. Don't fool with it. Burn it up. Don't leave anything for the enemy. Right. Hanson! Yes, sir. Where are you going? Some of our wounded are up in the hills, Colonel. We're going to try and bring them out. These boys are volunteers. Captain Hanson. I understand you've been asking for volunteers, sir. I'd like to come along if you don't mind. Glad to have you, Lieutenant. All right, move out. Who are they, Colonel? And what are they made up for? They're Marines, British Royal Marines. Gee, they're sure a long way from home. Divine, let's get down from there and help bring in those supplies. Bring in the supplies. Bring in the supplies. <clears throat> Don't go away. Don't go away. Get you out of here, son. We'll get you home, too. Another stretcher over here.
Yes, sir, Colonel. I'll pass the word. Out. Oh, Colonel, we're coming into a small airstrip. C-47s are waiting there to evacuate our wounded. First battalion will move off the road and establish defensive positions in those hills. Colonel! Colonel! Corman! Corman! Keep this column rolling. Get Knox down here. Have him take over. Agent Knox has been killed, sir. Get in there. me up. Sir. You got a little hole through your shoulder. But we'll both be walking out of here yet. Let's meet you, Knox. Captain Hanson? No, sir. He didn't come back. Lieutenant Ortiz? He went out after Captain Hanson. He's missing, too. Where's my battalion, Novak? Where are my people? Some of them are up in the hills, sir. Some of them are down here on the strip waiting to be taken out. I don't know where the rest of them are, Colonel. I don't know. I mean, waves. Hanson, you all right? All right. Hold on there. Hold on there, Artis. Plug that hole. Come in, Tulagi. Where are you, Tulagi? Kaiser, Hanson. Where are you? Where are you? They're all gone, Jake. They're all gone. Italian command post. Right here. Can you operate a radio? My reserve status was in communication, sir. Remember? Well, then go to it. Get out the word that the 1st Battalion forms here. Tell them that we're going to fight our way back to the sea over the same road that we came up. If the enemy blocks our road, we'll smash through them. If they blast our bridges, we'll build new ones. If they try to stop us, we'll run right over them. We'll push them back with rifles, bayonets, grenades, our bare fists if we have to. But we're getting to the sea, and we're coming out fighting.
What outfit? The 1st Battalion, United States Marines. Train hell. 